The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. We're having some technical difficulties. We'll get started now. Um, hello, everyone, and welcome to today's, to today's presentation, which is part of the webinars provided by the Division, of the Division of Public Health, Section of Chronic Disease Prevention and Health Promotion. Our section's vision is for health and safety Al health, healthy and safe Alaskans, and our mission is to identify and advance the conditions that lead to safe and healthy lives. The primary aspect of our work include health, um, health promotion, chronic disease prevention, and data collection and surveillance. This webinar series was created to provide a forum where we as public health professionals and our partners can have an open dialogue around specific projects and explore ways to collaborate. We'll be offering webinars on the third Tuesday of every other month at 1 p.m. In addition to sharing our work with you, we hope these webinars will spark your interest in learning more about our projects and and explore opportunities for further collaboration. Another way you can stay connected to our work is through our monthly newsletter. You can sign up for the newsletter on our section's website. Our section's, um, our website address is at the bottom of this page. Oh, um, there are a few housekeeping items to go over before we start. If you're listening by phone, please keep it on mute. Also, please do not put this call on hold. If you receive a call, hang up and call back in. The webinar is planned for 30 minutes, a 20-minute presentation followed by 10, 10 minutes of open dialogue. A recording of today's webinar will be sent to all participants and the slides will be made available within the next week. Audio for this webinar will come through your computer. Another option is to call the number provided when you registered for today's session. If you have technical difficulties, please let us know by using the question function on the GoToWebinar control panel. To ask a question, you'll need a microphone on your computer, or you'll need to call the number provided when you registered for the session. Today, please hold questions until the end of the presentation. To ask your question, raise your hand by clicking on the hand button in the control in the GoToWebinar control panel shown in this slide. And with that, let's start today's presentation and discussion. My name is Kelly Cheetah. I'm the Chronic Disease Programs Manager for the section of Chronic Disease Prevention and Health Promotion. Our worksite wellness program is overseen by myself and Carol Fink, the Obesity Prevention and Control Manager in our section. I'd like to acknowledge until recently we had a public health CDC or a CDC public health advisor, Octavia Chambers, working with us around worksite wellness. Octavia did a great job putting together this presentation and the resources I'll be sharing today. Today I will be giving some background on how our program was developed 
building a case of why worksite wellness is important, both in terms of employee and employer, sharing the resources we and sharing the resources we put onto our website. Some of the slides have a lot of information, so I want to remind everyone that a link to this presentation and the slides will be emailed to all attendees in a few days. Our section received an integrated chronic disease prevention grant from the CDC in 2013, which included the promotion of physical activity and healthy eating at work sites. This gave us an opportunity to, to provide agencies in Alaska with relevant and comprehensive resources. The Work Well Alaska program, thus the Work Well Alaska program was created. Work Well Alaska provides resources and support to agencies interested in planning and implementing effective worksite wellness programs. The program builds off the state worksite wellness work conducted in the early 2000s when the Supporting Healthy Practices at Work, the Alaska Guide, was first released. I thought it would be helpful to provide a shared definition of worksite wellness programs and what they are. Worksite wellness programs are, as defined by the CDC, coordinated and comprehensive strategies designed to meet the healthy and sa safety needs of employees. Worksite wellness programs are developed by employers who improve the overall health of their employees and reduce the health and reduce healthcare costs. Worksite wellness programs can include initiatives such as health education classes, policies that promote healthy behaviors and physical activity, and employee health insurance coverage for preventive screenings. So why are we working? Why are we focusing on the workplace? Chronic diseases such as can cancer, heart disease, stroke, and diabetes are among the amongst the most prevalent, costly, and preventable health problems in Alaska. Work time and profit loss due to to illness and injury affects the bottom line of both large and small businesses in Alaska. Creating a culture of wellness at your worksite can make a huge difference in improving employee health while also reducing the cost of disease and unhealthy behaviors. A major reason to focus on this, th this at work is, on average, Americans working full time spend more than one third of the, their day, five days a week, per five days per week at the workplace. That means employers have a real opportunity to promote individual health and foster a healthy work environment. This list shows some of the benefits to providing effective worksite wellness programs. Worksite wellness initiatives have been found to positively impact the health of employees, as well as the productivity and financial outcomes of an organization. An employer might want to ask, ask um, how much such a, pro a program might save in spending. This obviously greatly varies greatly based on the program and the employees, but according to the American Heart Association, for every $1 invested in worksite wellness, companies can receive up to $3 return. For the employee, changes the changes listed coincidentally have some of the largest impact on reducing chronic disease, the chronic diseases I mentioned earlier, which are responsible for the majority of deaths in Alaska. Now that we've defined some of the benefits of worksite wellness program, let's talk about the steps to developing one. Building a, work, a workplace health program should involve, should involve a coordinated, systematic, and comprehensive approach. The Work Well Alaska program was develop, developed a six-step process based on the CDC workplace health model and the Wellness Council of America Wellcola workplace model. All six steps are vital components for building a, a comprehensive, results-oriented wellness program. Additional resources for each of the six steps can be found on our website. We also have a step-by-step -step guide for schools looking to develop and implement a comprehensive worksite wellness program. Utilizing an approach such as this puts in, um, interventions in place that address multiple risk factors and health conditions concurrently and recognizes that the interventions and strategies chosen influence multiple levels of the organization, including the individual employee and the organization as a whole. One of, the main, one of the main goals of the Work Well Alaska program is to connect local agencies with resources and tools they need to develop and implement worksite wellness strategies and or a comprehensive worksite wellness program. We realize that the agency, the agency priorities are based on their employee population, which is why we have provided contact information for the different state programs. Agencies looking to develop or implement worksite wellness strategies in any of the listed areas can reach out to that, pro that program or resource directly. 
You can also reach out to the Work Well Alaska program and we can connect you with the appropriate program or person. One of the resources we provide are a quick list of low-cost worksite wellness ideas. We understand that many worksites do not have the resources, time or funds to develop a comprehensive wellness program. The ideas listed on the screen are just 20 ways employers with limited resources can help employees improve or maintain health. There are many local initiatives and agencies that your worksite could also partner with or become involved in that improve the health of employees with limited cost or limited cost or resources. For example, we have partnered with the Health on Trails initiative and the Anchorage Park Foundation to develop trail maps specific to individual work sites in order to promote physical activity during lunch and break time. Also, every year the, muni muni the municipality of Anchorage and Environmental Health Services Program coordinates a bike to work day. Activities such as these are great to promote physical activity among employees at no cost to the employer. Obviously, this, this, these examples are specific to Anchorage but we found that there are many organizations and people interested in this topic in almost every community. A large part of our efforts have been focused on providing online sources for those interested in starting worksite wellness programs. With that in mind, we redesigned our webpage to include a plethora of resources for agency, agencies interested in worksite wellness. I would encourage you all to go to, into this website, click on the various links and see what is available. The address is at the bottom right hand hand corner of this slide. Additional resources by content area, such as diabetes, heart disease, cancer, um, obesity, and tobacco prevention, um, are also available on the, web, on the web page as well. Our current focus has been on increasing opportunities for physical activity at, at Alaska work sites. Since the launch of the Work Well program, we've provided technical assistance to 10 work sites to promote strategies to increase physical activity in the workplace. This has impacted over 12,000 Alaskans. And that is the end of the presentation, and it's time for questions. I know I went through that pretty quickly. Um, if anybody would like us to go back and look at a couple of the, of the slides, we can do that. And, um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm looking at the question. Somebody asked, Brittany asked, can we download the PowerPoint? It will, you will be able to download it. It won't be up for a couple of days. And again, we're going to send out a link to where you can download it from within the next week. So be looking in your email box to, 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 for that in a couple of days. There'll be the PowerPoint and recording the presentation itself. Thank you for the question. We are waiting for other questions to come in. While we're waiting, I, I would like to just point out one thing. I flashed up that, and maybe we can go back to it, um, a slide that had the 20 um, things that we could be done in um, at the work site fairly easily. And I know that this process, a lot of times uh, we talk about um, we talk about all the steps that it takes to develop a, work, a comprehensive worksite wellness program, and it can become really overwhelming for a lot of organizations. This, um, this resource is available on our website, and it has a lot of great, really easy, just ways to, things that you can get started with right off the bat, like um, going to your vendor that if you have a vending machine and trying to get healthier choices in the vending machines, um, starting a walking group, posting signs to take the stairs or where people can walk during breaks, um, just giving people little ideas have all been shown to be pretty effective. Um, so look for that on our website if you if you have just some if you want some quick easy easy ideas. And it looks like another question has come in. So uh, this next question, I can't see who's asking it, but can you give one to two specific examples of work well activities you've helped to, you've helped implement? I don't have the hard specifics right here. Um, like I said, we had somebody else working on this, and um, they fairly recently left us. I do know that we've put signs up a lot to take the stairs in in um, buildings. I believe we were working with the Gold Nugget in Juneau, the mall, to put signs up so not only the employees took stairs 
instead of elevators or escalators, but um, also the people that were in the mall. Um, another thing is I know we're working right now with an employer to, in collaboration with the Health on Trails to provide a map that shows the mileage where people can go for a nice walk right from the location of the office during breaks. Um, that's another way that we've helped promote it, um, physical activity within a work site. Thanks for the question. Let me see if we have any other questions. I'll give you guys about 30 more seconds, and if not, we will we will close out. Okay, again, um, thank you everybody for attending, and if you have more questions after you receive, if you have more questions, you can contact, I'll put back, we'll put back my um, contact information. You can either contact our the, the address that we have on here for the um, workwellalaska.gov, um, you can also contact me. My email address is um, underneath my name, and um, our website is listed right there as well. So thank you again, and um, I hope you join us next time.